If I were a carpenter and you were a douchebag. No show, no work. What's up with that? In the context of organized crime, the terms no-show job and no-work job often refer to fraudulent schemes in which an individual is paid for work that they do not actually perform. These types of schemes are often used by criminal organizations, like the Mafia, to launder money, evade taxes, or receive government benefits to which they're not legally entitled. I'm going to start with a brief overview of the difference between a no-show and a no-work job. And then I'm going to walk through the process. Guys, pick up those ice cream wrappers. So with the no-work jobs, you have to physically be there, but you don't actually have to work. You should try sitting here at 1030 or 3. We got the good donuts today. Yeah. Glad to see you're not exerting yourself in this heat. In a nutshell, no-work jobs are where... The guys sit around in lawn chairs all day eating their donuts and their ice cream and taking that. What are you worried about? It's gonna cost you. Besides what you're already raping me for those no show electrician jobs. You're not such a fucking citizen when you want a construction bit to go your way, are you? Okay, Jack? okay. Now for no show. I'll tell you this no show shit is tough. Deciding what not to wear to work, what not to put in my lunch box. The person receiving the paycheck doesn't need to show up at all. Not even from ten thirty to three. Perhaps he's a waste management consultant for Barone Sanitation, like Tony. You said you work at a sanitation transfer station. Whatever happens to Barone Sanitation, I gotta be kept on. I need that W-2. A W-2 form is a tax form that shows information about the income you've earned from your employer, the amount of taxes withheld from your paycheck, benefits provided, and other information for that year. And you use this W-2 form to file your federal and state taxes. And besides the money and other things that come along with a paycheck in a W-2, there are also other things you can get from these no-show, no-work arrangements. I want to call it which is now. I'm not skimming enough from this job. But way more important than ink cartridges are health care and health insurance. When you're in Tony Soprano's industry, there are a lot of on-the-job safety risks. What makes these particular arrangements so beneficial is the fact that not only does it produce a W-2 for each of these guys and help them justify their income, but they also get health insurance benefits. But if you hadn't had insurance, you would have ended up at the county hospital. It's a good thing that you had your card with you when they performed the wallet biopsy. The what? In the ambulance. If you hadn't had your card with you, they would have dropped your butt at Martin Luther King. The wallet biopsy. So now let's get to the steps. First, the bid is released and proposals are accepted. I think, what's the story with Trevor Towers? Well, the site manager wants to renew his contract with Dick, but this call of sanitation. For 7000 a month, less than Dick. So they pay us 40 times a month, for stealing a stop. That's the thing. They won't. Oh! Just kidding. Let me see what I can do. Are you sure? Uh, I just heard from Triborough Towers. The Cola Brothers withdrew their bid. That's good. And how do the unions come into play here? Well, when the Mafia controls the unions, they can get the union workers to not work if it's going to be for another company. Part of having that hand in the process for Masseron is with the agreement from Masseron to give them a certain number of no-show and no-work jobs. So it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Until it isn't. Watch you don't get followed meeting me. You weren't followed here, were you? No, I, I, I don't think so. I'm, 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 I'm pretty careful. Tony distributes these how he wants, or he gives his capos permission to distribute them as he sees fit. For the duration, he will give Paulie five carpenter jobs, two no shows, and three no works. One of the no-shows our friend in Youngstown keeps, and one he gives to Chrissy here. The others, the no-work jobs, that's for Paulie, how he wants to distribute them. We'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsor. <laughs> oh, you ought to know, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing, what? We're just breaking balls. 
Breaking Balls Hard Hat 2.0, a hard hat built extra tough to protect you from the most dangerous construction site hazards, including Snapple Bottles, Eugene Pontecorvo, and that guy who keeps calling you shaggy and telling you to scrub his tires. But when it comes to these arrangements with the unions and the other parties that are involved, it's not about just getting the bid and the contract. In Season 2, Episode 2, Do Not Resuscitate, Black joint fitters were protesting outside Jack Masserone's construction site because they believed that Masserone was hiring other workers to do the job instead of those workers who were mostly African American. The protests were causing problems for Masserone because he was under pressure to complete the job on time and on budget, and with this disruption from the protest, it was looking like that was not going to happen. So Masserone approached Tony Soprano for help in resolving the situation, basically getting the protests to stop, and Tony ultimately used his connections to convince Reverend Herman James Jr. to call off the protests in exchange for a financial settlement and a portion of the money that Masserone gave Tony to have him resolve the issue. Showing that a demonstration bus stop. Masserone gave me five no shows. I would whack it up two and a half each. Three, two. Remember how Meadow says, sometimes we're all hypocrites? These arrangements here are a great illustration of that. Maybe it's Bobby Bacala. Who am I sitting on my ass all day smoking mushrooms and collecting government checks? <laughs> <laughs> or it's Ralph complaining about all the programs they have for people in poverty at the federal government. The more fucking programs for these deadbeats, I swear to Christ. Or... Tony talking about people that are just trying to collect welfare and just don't be a sucker okay a lot of these people these indigenous types they got plenty of money to smoke crack and gamble and all that shit you ought to know and of course as with nearly everything else on the Sopranos issues can arise when personalities clash <laughs> my mother's expecting us Oh, look what the cat dragged in! Cat? Whatever happened there? Should be uh, about two grand there. I'll have the rest for you later. What do you hear about the public school asbestos removal project over in Connie? Just waiting to see who gets the bid. Listen, my buddy in the city plan check says they uh, just pulled a permit to turn the old bus station into a uh, mixed use. The thing is, Zellman still hasn't given me a number. Has he said anything to you about another bid? And onward goes this thing of ours. Not surprisingly, a lot of these schemes and scams that we see on The Sopranos happen in real life. Here are just a few stories from the last 10 or so years. Now, if we quickly transition back into Tony's other world, with his other family, who else is doing the no-show, no-work thing? Meadow Soprano. All summer, remember, they wanted her to work and get a job, have an internship, and then this didn't work out, this didn't work out, she couldn't show up here, she couldn't show up there, she didn't want to go there, etc., etc., etc. And for another moment of irony, there are the moments where one feels compelled to do a job in front of the job site for their no-work job. So for a final review, no work means you show up, but you don't have to work. No show is where you don't even have to show up there, period. Looks like the contract's up for renewal again. And you know what that means. Onward goes this thing of ours. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe.